<laughs> Fuck. Hey everyone, DCF here. Let's read some comments from last week's video. Hi, Dora the Explorer. Laughing emoji. Just joking around and kidding with you. Wow, I heard those burps and I see a pink t-shirt on you. Really? You mean that you can identify the color pink and you know what a burp sounds like? Thank you, Cowboy X Factor, for sharing with the class that you are a somewhat fully functioning human being. Alright, next, next comment. Banter says, Hey there, Dora. LMAO! You guys really seem to like the, uh, the Dora intro last week. Should I just make that as, um, my regular thing from now on? Dora the Explorer, Dora the Explorer, bitch look good for a four-year-old. Then he says, will you quit on the team in August again this season? <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, for those who are new, uh, this comment is in reference to last season. Uh, around July or August when I said that the season was over, mainly because of uh, Ezekiel Elliott's suspension. It was expected to be two to three games, and that's if there was even going to be a fucking suspension to begin with. But there was, and it was six games. That's nearly half the season. Just by saying that, I've already pretty much justified why I said that. And what's, what, what's the point of commenting that? I was right. We went 9-7 and seven and missed the fucking playoffs. And if you think for a second that that should be considered as a successful season, then you are a prime example of why 85% of this fan base is fucking trash. <coughs> uh, that's... That's not really fair for me to say. I mean, there are some... There are still a few Cowboys fans out there who give a shit about winning. But, I mean... Trust me, they are very fucking hard to come around by. And I live in Arlington, and I'm fucking saying that. That's how rare it is. <clears throat> now, if you've been around this channel since, you know, forever, since the beginning, you know that I am definitely no stranger to the words, the season is over. I did it last year, and you know, like I said, I was right about that. I said it in 2016 after we beat the fucking, um... Uh, the Minnesota Vikings. I was kind of right, actually. I mean, I put all the blame on the defense when really it had a lot more to do with the coaching staff than the defense. <laughs> so give or take on that one. And I also said it in 20, uh, 2015, the morning after we lost to the fucking New Orleans Saints. And would you look at that? We went 4-12. and 12. Boy, do I look like a fucking idiot. Also, it's... It's not giving up on the team whatsoever. Like, I still support them, obviously, or I wouldn't even have a fucking channel anymore. I literally have over a thousand dollars worth of jerseys in my fucking closet. Just the jerseys. That doesn't count the memorabilia, uh, the football gloves, that doesn't count the fucking hats. And the tickets, my god, I must have spent easily over a thousand on tickets. Of course, I'm not giving up on the team. I, I will always support the boys. However, the fact that I'm not delusional, that doesn't mean that I, I'm giving up on the team. You can be a Cowboys fan and expect bad things to come in the season. No shit. But you can still support them. I don't know who the fucking retard is who started this whole trend about, oh, if you say anything bad about Dallas, you're not a Cowboys fan. Shut the fuck up. I will always support the Cowboys. They just piss me off. Will I still root for the Cowboys? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean I should expect good things out of the team every single season. Will you give up on the team again in August? No, you slimy little faggot. I'm not going to wait all the way until August to tell you that the season is over. Because I already said it back in fucking March. The season has been over since January. Let me explain why. The second that Jerry confirmed that we were going to have the same coaching staff this year that we had last year at that moment our season just swirled down the fucking shitter and with jerry jones confirming that we're gonna have the same coaching staff then we all know damn fucking well what's gonna happen in the next season now the schedule drops uh i heard it drops on the 19th which should be when tickets 
come out. Uh, this will be posted on the 11th, hopefully. Save your fucking money. Don't buy plane tickets to Dallas. Don't buy cowboy tickets, because I'm going to give you an explanation right now on how the 2018-2019 Cowboy season is gonna go. Cowboys fans, it's just gonna be a 2016 rerun, assuming that everyone stays healthy. Assuming everyone stays healthy, we're gonna get double digit wins, everyone's gonna ride our nuts into the postseason, and then we lose again for the fourth straight time and over the last decade versus either the Green Bay Packers or the Philadelphia Eagles. And there it is. That marks our 23rd year of winning fucking nothing. Now, assuming that we're gonna have an injury problem like last year, then we're just gonna go 9-7, 8-8 again. And it'll be a 2017 rerun. And then Jerry Jones, he's gonna fire Jason Garrett and he's gonna give us the same bullshit we heard back in 2013 or 2014, I can't remember. He will promise us changes, however, he is still the fucking general manager. Jerry... <sighs> Nothing is gonna fucking change while you're the general manager. Even if we hire fucking Bill Parcells, we're st and you have all the talent in the world, like we did in 2007, you're still going to find a way to fuck it all up for us. You're just gonna hire another kiss ass, another clapper, another Jason Garrett. And if you do make a solid coach hiring, like fucking, I don't know, Jim Harbaugh or something, you're just gonna get in his ear like you did with Bill Parcells and go, Hey boy, I'm Jerry Jones. We don't allow one in here. Okay, this is the Jerry way. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. And that's the season. Cowboys fans, I, I understand that you're really eager and anxious to watch us win another Super Bowl again. And so am I. I want us to win a Super Bowl more than anyone else. But with this senile sack of shit that we have as a general manager, it's not gonna happen. No matter how much talent we have, Jerry will find a way to fuck it for us. The only thing that we can hope for as Cowboys fans is when Jerry dies and Stephen Jones takes over, all we can hope for is that the apple will fall very fucking far from the tree. And if it doesn't, and Stephen ends up being like Jerry Jones and doesn't want to win and only cares about ratings and his ego, oh boy, you thought 23 years was bad. <laughs> You haven't seen shit. We'll basically be the next fucking Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Fuck! And like I said back in March when I said it the first time, if anyone disagrees with me, please don't be a bitch and just unsubscribe, dislike, and click off the video. Just, I implore you, leave a comment in the comment section Prove me the fuck wrong. And please don't give me this faggot true blue shit where you say, Oh, you just gotta have faith, man! Bruh, you just gotta have hope in your squad! You gotta have hope and have faith in your cow niggas! <laughs> that faith and hope, we've been resorting to that over the last 22, soon to be 23 years, and it has gone us absolutely fucking nowhere. People will call me a fake fan for this, purely because they don't like to hear the truth. I mean, calling me a fake fan because I refuse to give you guys this bullshit about Earl Thomas of Dallas? <gasps> Dallas Cowboys 2018 champs! You know, doing this bullshit that every other cowboy YouTuber does, just because I don't do that clickbait and faggot shit and instead tell you guys what you should be hearing, that doesn't make me a fake fan. That just makes you fucking insecure. <laughs> Anyways, banter. I'd love to hear your response on this one, motherfucker. Anyways, there's that. Also, Connie Ely, he just got signed by the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I don't know jack shit about him. Uh, I only heard of him once, and that was that play, um, in the... Uh, in the Super Bowl where he picked off Eli Manning That's about it. I mean, it was a good signing. I guess you know add some depth to the defensive line 
that's really all I can say. I I really don't know jack shit about him. La di da di da, slob on me knob, pass me some syrup, put me in the car. La di da di da, motherfucker la, chitty chitty bay, murder everything. <sighs> There it is. Uh, that's the end of the video. I'll talk to you guys next week. I'll probably do another love him or hate him. Uh, you guys left me a couple suggestions. Depending on if some shit goes down next week. Or, wait, fuck. Wait. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll do, I'll, okay, love him or hate him. Next, next Wednesday, if I can. And the schedule will be released. On the 19th, they said? What fucking day is that? That's, uh, next Thursday. I'll be sure to do a video on that. Uh, give you guys my schedule predictions, even though I basically just gave it to you. Uh, but we'll just pretend that Jerry Jones has nothing to do with it, and we'll pretend everything is fine, and I'll just... Okay. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.